piece of paper that little girl has is a forgery. And I just hope that Cliff Barnes is dumb enough to believe all that gossip. Why? Because with his tunnel vision, he's going to do everything he can to prove that that paper is real. And in the meantime, I'm going to be destroying Barnes Whimper. I've done it before. I'd sure do it again. Why are we wasting a lovely afternoon talking about that loser? He's not worth it. Somehow I feel kind of sorry for him. Really? Why? I don't know. With someone like you after him, he's going to need all the help he can get. He always has. Always has. Mr. Phipps is returning your call on line one. Thank you. Mr. Phipps. Hello, Mrs. Ewing. What can I do for you? Well, you can tell me why I haven't heard anything from you about Mark Grayson. Uh, Mrs. Ewing, it's only been a week. We're checking clinics all over the world looking for someone using an assumed name. Mr. Phipps, I'm paying you for results, not excuses. These are not excuses. It takes time. And we're not even sure that Mr. Grayson is at any of the clinics on the list that you now, if you want results, you'll just have to be patient. Unless, of course, you'd rather work with some other agency, that's up to you. No, I'm sure you're doing your very best. Just keep in touch with me, all right? I will. Goodbye, Mrs. Ewing. Goodbye. Ah, how you doing? Just getting in? No, I've been here for a couple of hours. I've been thinking about Aunt Maggie. You have? Mm-hmm. How's she doing, you know? Have you heard from her? I got a letter from her a couple of weeks ago. She's fine. Still living down in Marshall? Mm-hmm. Well, I might drive down and see her. I just said an interest in Aunt Maggie. You haven't mentioned her in over a year. Well, she had a lot of diggers' papers and records. Uh-huh. Does this have anything to do with what happened at the Ewing Barbecue? From what I hear, that paper had Digger's name on it, which would mean that he's entitled to a third of Ewing oil. So, now I am. If that document were legal, why hadn't we heard anything about it before? Maybe Jason Ewing's the only one that had a copy. But if Digger had a copy, I have a heck of a case. That's why you're going to see Aunt Maggie? Want to go with me? No, I don't want anything to do with this at all. Okay, well, I'm going to call her tonight. Did come in? I'll let you know how it turns out. Oh, you didn't come in. Smithfield is waiting in your office. Follow me with you? Uh, no, sir. He didn't come in today. I guess he's getting ready for the big wedding tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah, it figures. Hello, Harv. Sorry, I'm late. I tied up a bunch. That's quite all right, JR. How are you? Good. I have the contracts and the sales agreements between Ewing and West Star for the properties. Everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. They now belong to Ewing office. Good. I'll tell you the truth, I got more important things on my mind right now. Yeah, I know. The document splitting Ewing on into thirds. That's right. Did you come up with anything? No. I've had my staff research all of the Jock Ewing and Ewing Oil documents we've ever worked on. Not a mention of it. Not even close. <laughs> of course, if Sam Culver really drew up that document, I'm not surprised we don't have a record of it. Well, where do we go from here? Well... I'm trying to contact Agnes Birch. She's Sam's old law secretary. She may, just may, have some of his old files. Of course, when he died, most of his papers went to his law partners. We're trying to track them down as well. JR, is there any chance I'd get a look at that document? I don't think so. Sue Ellen says that Jamie's got it locked up in a safety deposit box. Now, Harv, don't get me wrong. I don't think the girl's got anything. But what are the chances that uh, that document is real? Well, if Sam Culver really drew up that document, it was a fine lawyer. Chances are, if it's not a forgery, it'll hold up in court. And Harvard just.